My name's Ivan Kovac, I'm an Australian cinematographer and I find myself shooting across the world. What I love the most about shooting documentary is the fact that you can meet real people, tell real stories, and everyone in the world has a story. Today I have been shooting a young female fighter named Masha and we have been shooting a half drama, half documentary. So when you shoot documentary, you have to shoot long periods of time. Now, you can roll 125 minutes in 4K with ZA and you don't need to worry about the camera overheating. That itself is a game changer. I've worked on so many shoots with so many cameras and the amount of downtime that I've had to literally just sit there with the camera saying, sorry, gotta wait a minute, you know, we're overheating. That's a real issue and the Z8 absolutely resolves that. I shot this production in ProRes 422HQ 10-bit at 4K resolution. I mean, it was lovely to be able to shoot in that because that's predominantly the workflow that I use in post-production. It made it you get those rushes out really quickly. There's no long rendering times. We shot this project in Nlog and what's great about Nlog is that it gives the colorist a whole ton of options. It retains highlight detail and darks detail quite well. When you have a production in documentary production in particular where the lighting is unpredictable, you kind of need that ability to retain that detail and for the colorist, be it me or somebody else, to be able to color correct it to really give the whole project a nice vibe. The Z8's autofocus was practical in so many ways. There's one particular shot that I can recall that was in the gym with Marsha and her coach and it was a 180 degree revolution shot. So we started on her coach and we kind of went right around to her. And what I didn't expect was how quickly it would lock on from his eye to her eye and how it wouldn't lose focus, lose control and go into something else or need to search for that focal point. It was so organic and seamless. And I think that's like a really key word when you think about the way this autofocus works. It, it is really organic. There's a lot of mirrorless cameras these days that are released and they have great features, but they miss some really simple things that every videographer, cinematographer, director worth their weight in cinema gold would want on a camera just to make sure that simple things are functioning. And the fact that Nikon included zebra patterns to figure out two modes of exposure, like whether it's like skin tone, you can program it for mid-tones and highlights, was wonderful for me. I didn't need to get an external monitor to make sure that everything was exposed properly via HDMI. I could just do it on camera and thought that was spot on. In the end, it's all about the image that you can get out of the camera. And what impressed me the most was the ease with which I could get this. It was quick, it was fast, and I had a gorgeous image that conceivably could have taken me much longer. As a documentarian, as a filmmaker, that's kind of what you want. What I love most about documentary is the beauty of telling people's stories. Everyone's so unique and different and you have to work out spontaneous ways to tell these stories. And that's a huge part of the way that I shoot. Spontaneity and being able to do things on the fly. And this camera really just allows me to focus on the creativity because I know the technical side's got my back the whole time. Ready, action.